Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Extinction. We're making our way to the far side of the map, kind of where we got the tech wrecks from. I'm wanting to try to find a Thyla to tame. They're, they got a buff with the last TLC patch, and they have, I think it's a new bleed effect or something like that. So, it'd be awesome time to try one out. I also looted from a drop a uh, 111 armor saddle for a Thyla. I did another red drop with the Gigo off camera to try, try a couple different things. I think I have a different method that works a little bit better, but I do have another Giga that I raised. It's a female, so they will both get a bonus whenever I take them out. It'll be, a, you know, the mate bonus or whatever it is. So it should have out a lot. We will see, though. Hopefully, we can find a Thyla or a couple over here. Only thing that I'm worried about is those Reapers. Last time we were over here, we had some issues with some corrupted Reapers. And I am just on the on the uh, Sabertooth today, and he does not do very well. He has very low weight capacity as well. I was wanting to bring a bird so that I could bring everything I needed and not have to worry about weight, but I can't shoot off of any of the birds, so it kind of makes it a little bit difficult. And dude, I have not seen anything for Thylas. I did look over where we did the one drop at where we... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, dude. Talking about Thylas are somewhere here. All right, level 10, you are definitely not going to work. Level 10, you're not going to work, but that 150 will. Oh my gosh, that was weird. <laughs> Zoom out a little bit. All right, let's try to kill off these. Dude, where did that drop come down at? Hopefully nowhere too close. All right, so we'll take out this other level 10, and then... Oh, there's that drop. Sure, there's nothing... It's kind of, kind of a good area over here. There's nothing else. Oh, that's what we want to keep, dude! Oh man, it's like the on aberration from the um, Ravagers that bleed. All right, let's just take out this one. There we go. There we go. I do have a nice ascendant long neck that I got from the Gotcha, which is going to help out a lot too. It's a 202 percent. So the cat should be able to just face tank him and live through it. I'm hoping. Because, yeah, this is a very good area here. It's kind of away from everything. Oh, if we can get up in that little corner, that'd be even better. Yeah, get up in here. This is a good place to come from metal and stuff, too. Dude, I'm stuck. There we go. Dude, he's, like, all up in our face. Holy crap. So, yeah, if you look up in that top right corner there, we lose 5% of our health over time from that uh, status effect that he gives you, which is kind of terrifying in a way. Just like him being all up in our face. Dude, you need to back up a little bit, man. Wonder if we can get up on the cliff there so he's not all up in us. I think he's gonna just follow us up here. Yeah. He can climb very well, so. Oh, wait. Is that it? Oh, dude. Well, that's even better. We're even further up here. I did bring some lamb chop. I found one lamb by base. It is his preferred food. Can't make any kibble for him. We don't have a UD or it takes one of the special eggs to make the kibble for him. So that's not going to work out too well. Anyways, I'm going to sit here, let her level up or let her team up. And then we'll come back and try her out a little bit, man. Run her around the map here and try to see if we get the, I don't know if we get the status effect too. Because I know with Ravagers, whenever you tame it, we don't get the ability to have the uh, the bleed effect on it. Anyways, we'll see you back here in a few. Oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. What a level it is. She's over here still sleeping. I had to throw some narc in her because she was getting ready to wake up. She's at 42%. She gets about 21%. Per bite of the lamb chop, so not too bad. Let's see, what level are you? Oh, dude, that's like a top tier one. That's a that's a fifty thousand. That's a tier three one. We definitely can't do that one yet. I'm wanting to get some more enforcers, kind of leveled up. I haven't found any more good blueprints. However, when I did that other drop that I did off camera, I did find another mech blueprint, and it has a hundred fifty percent on its damage, and I think like one sixty five percent on its health. Somewhere around there, something like that. So it's not too bad. We are making our way in that aspect. So I think 
here maybe the next video or two i'm gonna start getting ready to do the i think we're gonna do the desert one first over in the scorched earth area try the titan that's over there the boss the gamma level one i just kind of need to see what we need for it but she is doing very well a few minutes and she should be awake and we'll test her out see how she does that poor little stego over there, man, got a pack of uh, wrecks after it and some corrupted dillos. Something else I forgot about with that last TLC update is there's a new taming list. So you can see everything here that you're taming and it'll show their levels, uh, taming effectiveness, their percent that they are, if they're conscious or not, and you can actually track them. And it'll show up wherever you're at versus wherever it is and tells you how far away it is. So it's kind of neat, man. It's a... Uh, Real big quality of life update they put in with that. Helps out a ton. Awesome, man. There we go. One Thyla tamed up. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Don't need to track it anymore. So let's see. What'd you come out with? Level 224. 5,700 on the health. Stamina is 1,800, which is pretty decent. Weight is 648. Could be a little bit better. Damage is 323 and movement speed 130. Not bad at all. I do like it. We'll leave that food in there for her to finish eating. Let's go ahead. We'll throw the saddle on. Didn't use too much narcotics. Only 25. So that was extremely helpful. Uh, we'll keep the keratin. Everything else we don't need from him. We will cryopod the saber. As we will be riding the thyla back to base. Do a little bit of testing. Take her for a spin. Depending on if we get the bonus or not with the bleed effect and stuff and how it works, we might end up doing a little bit of breeding on these guys. Not too sure. We'll test it out. I'll tell you what, there's a Rex over here. They were chasing that poor Stego over there. What level are you? Level 45. Not too bad. Where's your buddy at, man? There was another one that was with it. Oh, so it does get the bleed effect. Does it slow it down, though? Nah, I think it still goes normal speed. Interesting. So is there anything else? No other attacks. Just a regular one. Okay, okay. 129, man, that's kind of... That's pretty low for the damage on these things. Usually have mine up around three or 400. Let's see, let's go ahead. Oh, man, nine points. See what, we'll put them all into there and see if that makes a difference. There's another red drop over there. I mean, we can't do it on this thing, but it is another drop. This is kind of the back way that leads up Death Mountain. So if you go through there and you go through that way and you can kind of hear, we're at the map edge, you can hear the sizzling sound. Eh, 175, dude, we'll have to do a lot of work on this to get its damage up. That's why you need to breed them, get a lot better stats. I wish we could find one of those corrupted reapers. Low level one, of course. Try it out. I'll tell you what, man. All these uh, trikes <laughs> make them nervous. We do need a ton of polymer, though. So that's kind of another reason I'm out here. I need 1,700 for that new mech that we have. But dude, I'm telling you, if you need metal, oh my gosh, over here, there's a ton of obsidian, too. This also goes down to the aberration area. Dude, are we out of stamina? Why are we moving so slow? Oh, there we go. Dude, what is that? Just a landscape? Huh, interesting. Haven't seen that before. Oh, is that more Thylas? Say, dude, if we could get two today. Oh, those are just Ankies. I still haven't tamed one of those. It's just, it's too much of a pain when you're on, like, the Argentavis to tame one and then have to carry it around when you're playing solo, that is. Level 15. No problem. Yeah, so I don't know, man. I don't really see a difference with that TLC update on this thing with the bleed effect. Yeah, see, it's not showing that it's doing more damage still. Hmm. I'll have to look up a little bit more on it and see what it's like. Anyways, 
I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one here. I'm gonna head back towards base and just collect some more corrupted nodules. That way, hopefully soon, I can go ahead and make that other mech that we have. I think it's like a level 143 or something. It's, I don't know, it's a weird number. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And, dude, I'm trying to talk here, man. Give me a minute. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.